Welcome to Mass Effect 2. We're gonna let's play this game with a bunch of mods. I'm gonna show you afterwards which mods. If I resume, I could show you right now. First of all, I can't play Mass Effect 1 because it won't launch. That's why I'm jumping in Mass Effect 2 immediately. And it's funny because Mass Effect 1 is the only game I have never played. <sighs> no how they are. Otherwise, the reshade mods jump completely glitch. A high resolution, I got a 4K resolution cutscene mod, but not a goddamn. I'm gonna show you who I've modded a little bit, the rest you will see later. I have a reshade mod here, I can't open it right now, there it is. It's Emmy Better Colors Lightning. I could switch it through for places that scream at me. Patrick, put a different reshade on to see how cool that looks visually god damn it i'm playing with a controller and if i run with a controller that opens up if you watch the other two parts i have a few more mods downloaded but not too much miranda still has her hair and oh the scary is here i, I don't know you took down the collectors i'm proud to serve under you commander Hawthorne oh is no infirmary, though i think his pride is more broken than his bone oh no i can't show you Garrus. Garrus is not here. Garrus is somewhere else. But yeah, a lot of characters got themselves a new remake, retexture. No, it's not quite a retexture because retexturing also doesn't work. It's so much that doesn't work. Oh, there's not too much left. Tali has a new face. Jack has armor on or hair. One of the two, whichever she decides to bust out. It's one of the two. So a lot of characters have new goddamn textures. I know you're working with Cerberus, but turning over the base to them was dangerous. I hope it doesn't come back to haunt us. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. I'm gonna create a new shepherd, and with that new shepherd, damn it, I can't run. I will create two suicide missions. One with an earlier save, which the suicide mission is gonna go wrong completely. There she is, Alma. Good. I had her with her too previously. But we have her with armor here. But it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while. That's gonna be... Hmm, did I exit all the way out? Lovely. Good job, me. Good job, me. I didn't go into the main menu. I exited out of the game hole. Which means we're gonna have to load back into the game and start. Finally, the goddamn let's play. I have like 15 to 20 mods and modding this game is chaos anyways I see the reshader loading in probably just change much new game <clears throat> Mayo I don't have an enemy one character I never got that I never got that combat oh. let's go veteran I should be Capable at least of that with controller as soon as I use my remember my controller settings. I played this game with a PS3 4 PS3 controller, one of the two. I believe PS3 even. I played it even on the hardest difficulty once just to test myself. Oh, sorry, cutscene time. I'm gonna be doing something risky here. Brup. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. That's already cursed. Then see to it that we don't lose him. 
That's already cursed. Lip syncing, eye movements. Good job modding. Oh god damn. Of course, I don't know what's wrong. Couldn't be the cutscene mod, could be the unofficial patch that I just had to repatch. That's just destroying it all. Oh my god. Same old story. Same old story. Some games just engaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Getting cursed. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly- It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Presley! Ugh. Kinetic barriers down! Multiple hull breaches! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out! Oof. What's that Liara? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I believe I put it in different armor. Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? The damn bell better. Oh, I don't need to voice act. Ah! I'm not doing this just so they can find our frozen corpses. Get everyone onto the escape shuttles. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't evacuate. I'm not leaving either. Get to the damn shuttle! I'll haul Joker's crippled ass out of here. Shepard! Get the hell out of here! I don't even know if I'm gonna be renegade. No, some Miranda's hair wasn't Miranda's hair that I modded. Everybody in! Go, go, go! But Liara has a new armor, I'm 90% sure. He won't. Oh, let's check. <laughs> oh, she's already dead. Good. Peaceful. Damn, what a view. It does look good though. And I didn't I didn't get any texture mods to work that need to be installed with mem. It's only there a lot of video cutscene textures should work, which I believe they do. But besides that, a few character retextures you could install with the Mass Effect M3 whatever modder. But the mem modder just refuses to work. I could try something else. Damn it, I need to stop modding this game. <laughs> I'm already modding it for multiple days. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's dead. Just like us, we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to... Oh, no. 
They're coming around for another attack. Those cutscenes looked at least amazing. The lip syncing previously was bad. And I saw Mirinda's eyes turn over. This at least. So many good screenshots taken. Hmm. Oh yeah, the reshade. Reshade and textures. That might do the trick. The reshade is a subtle one. Ah, if you skip this option, the default texture will be used. Would you like what? Would you like to use the interactive comic? Sure, I've downloaded something in that direction. <laughs> ah. Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course, it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make, the paths you choose, that turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission, answering a distress call. And look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Olenko. A good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. A soldier to the core. Tough, disciplined, ready to take on whatever came her way. Racist. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive, scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact, a beacon left by a long-dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up, and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Chief Williams made the mistake of getting too close. It hit her with some type of energy. I grabbed her and threw her out of the way. And that's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move, could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision, dream, a nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Adina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat as was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Adina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite Spectres could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof, which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security, 
Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren, and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she'd procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions. But not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I would need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara. A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species. Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the Beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Ashley was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. The mission comes first, of course, no, no, Liara. I told Liara about how I felt. Apparently she'd felt it too. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission. Finding Saren. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead. Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they weren't happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone. With the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender, and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni Queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I'm gonna save it. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the Queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer. But we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the Genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed, violently. Rex wanted the Genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Oh, of course. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to me. 
threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split up my team in two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign. The Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control, said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran, leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried, but I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. That is actually one of the more difficult decisions. I don't like any one of them. Oh, I don't like any one of them. Actually, it is though. Caden was a good man. And a great soldier. But I had to choose. And I chose Ash. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. Liara saw through my words. She knew I was hurting after Caden's death. She could sense my doubts. We both knew this mission could be our last. Until that moment, we'd put our feelings aside for the sake of that mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other. And it was perfect. While it lasted. We arrived on Ilos, close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago. And every 50,000 years before that each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before them. But a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Citadel fleets battled Saren's army outside, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our human Alliance fleet in jeopardy. I believe those options don't even goddamn matter. Ah, but I'm gonna save the council. I mean, it has a little bit of an impact. A few voice lines, but nothing besides that. Save council. The council had to be saved. They represented the hearts and minds of the galactic community. Without them, the fleets would be in disarray. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated, and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet, the battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, 
it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left for me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician. Ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Easy choice, easy choice. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned to cleanup duty, rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. I actually didn't want to do that. But I feel like the cutscenes were so cool. Or the comics. That was kind of worth it. I forgot about downloading that mod. And that it actually does something. Commander Shepard has been recovered. Covered, covered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Planned, planned. I'm gonna be stronger, more muscular, more flexible, more sexy, with more red blood cells. From high altitude training. I'm Tony Stark's Iron Man heart. That looks very high rest, damn. I mean, I played it on PlayStation 3, it's always more high rest on PC with those resolution settings. Is that a loading screen? Yes, it is. Oh, John! Let's just go Patrick, even though it doesn't fit it. Patrick, Shepard, Sept. Custom. Custom. Default, custom. Psycho presets, let's see. Oh no, that doesn't look like a hero. Where do we have a hero's face? Oh no, can I just have the default face and edit it? Oh, sunburned. Oh no. No, let's start with this face. This hair, hair is done. Oh no, custom appearance here. Let's start with hair. That's just not doing it. <laughs> Why are those haircuts a lot? Damn it. I need to download the mod with the Outer Worlds haircuts. Those haircuts are even more trash than I remember. There's nothing here besides kinda bold. This one. Everything else is... Ugh. Yeah, I gotta remind myself to download the kinda bold one for the next one. Jesus! I don't know if I can even get a better Shepard than the default one. Huh. There's nothing change here. Let's say that color. Oh no. Oh no. I'm not happy with that facial structure. I gotta be one badass one, right? This one, for example. Oh, there ain't too much to cycle through, anyways. Pale! <laughs> Pale! 
Holy hell. I didn't even know the options were that bad. Neck thickness. I mean, sure. There. And see the difference. Look into the camera. A short chick gone. I don't even know what that means. This thing, short. Yes, orientation. Short, short. <laughs> Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Uh, I actually like that one. It looks like he's questioning everything. Uh, sprout depth. There we go. Iris color. We do have crazy stuff here. Red. Draw. Where's the mandiest of mandiest chores? No. What are we doing? Chin depth. Chin width. Oh, actually, that kind of fits though. A little bit thicker. <laughs> oh. oh, God. <laughs> Yes, let's just keep that on the mouth, lip size, big mouth, nose, nose is perfect here, we got it already, damn it, nose is the only thing we don't have, let's see if we find a badass nose, looks kind of broken, good, good, damn, Gotta do something new for the other. God damn. Character creator for Mass Effect 3. I'm gonna create a new character. I don't care. Info trader. Ah. Oh, do I want to adapt? What do we have? Singularity, warp, throw, pull, shockwave. That's pretty much what I wanted. Throw, warp, create. Vanguard is fun, but. Uh, it doesn't work in this game very well. So trained, good enough, engineer and good enough, adapt all the way. Doesn't matter. Earthborn, soul survivor. Just like with the suicide mission coming up. Confirm. Here's my haircut too. <laughs> my haircut for sure. Something's wrong. He's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda, I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson, he's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. The stat's pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Damn it, where's the new haircut? Pretty sure I downloaded even two mods for her. Wait okay. We look badass at well at least. Shepard, do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. Five more minutes, Shepard, Miranda. At least we look like a badass. Grab the pistol and armor from the locker. You don't have time to wait around, Shepard. Grab your weapon and armor. Don't. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from... Damn it! Those cannons keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself. 
yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. There's something else I need to look for. Options. I believe there's a FOV option somewhere. 90... 100. Let's try 100. Did that change? I believe it changed a little bit. There are more clear reload. I need a tutorial. I haven't played this game in a while, Looks especially like not with mouse and keyboard. I mean, especially not with controlled up. Keep moving. We need to get to the shuttles. Good. That feels good. That feels way better than with mouse and keyboard. Space buff for everything is not good. And I don't like it. Yes, I uh, can't sprint with that button. It just shows objective markers. Shepard, security mechs are closing in on your position. Take cover. Oh, you want me to take cover here? Sure, just for you. Ugh. Oh, damn it. Critical system damage. What abilities to use? Ah, oh, there's no quick fire. Nice work, Shepard. Coast is clear. It'd be funny if I die. Or... I can't sprint. There's a sprint button, I'm sure of it. It's not this. Is it this? Nope, that's zoom in. That's also not sprint. Is there a sprint button? Damn it. He pines. That's not for controller. Gameplay controls. Mm, that's not what I want. Not what I want at all. Awesome. I'll figure it out. It's not this. It's not this. Is that just no running? There is running. It must be somewhere. Zoom. Don't waste time. I can't keep the mix distracted for long. Is it this? Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Ah, singularity. Go. Well, we figured that out at least. Singularity must be here somewhere too. Then. Ah, yes. See. More reinforcements heading your way. Grab the grenade launcher off the security officer. Here come the mechs. Use the grenade launcher to take them out. Where are Max? Let's save Vamo. Damn, that's wonky. We've been spotted. <coughs> Good. Damn, the game just controls weirdly. Well, I'll forward and just... Ah, ace run. Holy hell. I should have thought of that. Ace taking cover too. After all. After all. <laughs> a full run makes no sense. That is failure. Bang. We all do that. Damn it, I'm always pressing Progress that button. Is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion. Initial results show promise. Why is she not having the hair cut from the mod? We need to reinstall it. Oh. Just don't stand there, dude. Just don't stand there. Log update. I can't figure Miranda out. As project director, she should be ecstatic at all the progress we've made. But she's still the same old Ice Queen. Maybe she's worried Shepard might become the new favorite. Or maybe she is just a pure cold-hearted bitch. No. 
I smoke with fry boys, dude. I always wanna on, press that button. To run. Shut oh. What the hell? Everybody's fake it. Fake it, check it. Damn it. Oh, that doesn't even. Damn it. What are you doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. I downloaded some mod for him, I believe armor mods. I don't know when uh, it's gonna show, I believe, over the loyalty armor or something like that. Why are they attacking? I look like a badass. Good job, me, for making sure of that. Or was a heart. A heart mission. Get him look badass. What's with the mechs? Security. Usually they fight for us. Somebody must have hacked them. That should be impossible. Unless you've got access. We've got to get you out of here, Shepard. Ever since I woke up, someone's been telling me where to go and what to do. I need answers. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed, dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. That's... I'm having some trouble wrapping my head around this. Yeah, I can imagine. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what, you help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. Wow, he can pull. Subdue and suppress. Hi. Mate. I want, um, my thing is here. Jacob's thing is up here, somewhere that. If that worked even. And that's recharging. You're falling back. And that's push. Yeah. Push. Okay. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting. At us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. 
Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Huh. Funny that Liara is the only person getting mentioned by name of the crew world in air. You know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. Oh, pessimist, just like me. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we... Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell... Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think yeah. I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. It's kind of weird that there's no roll button. Just quick chaps. And me pressing the objective key because I think oh, that's how I run. Damn it, Wilson. You're afraid. This room is crawling with mechs. The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. <clears throat> Careful. Made it. Come. <clears throat> um, that quickly. Find us another route out of here. Prefer oh God. They found me. Help. Wilson, where are you? Server room B. Hurry. They're out of control. Up those stairs, Shepard. <clears throat> Damn it, the run button. Who made that idea up? Physical reconstruction of subject is complete, but we still need to evaluate all mental and neurological functions. Our orders were clear. Make Commander Shepard who he was before the explosion. The same mind, the same morals, the same personality. If we alter his identity in any way, if he's somehow not the man he used to be, the Lazarus Project will have failed. I refuse to let that happen. Good. <laughs> I'm pressing that button. Shepard, down here! Bastards got me in the leg! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <clears throat> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Just check it off, dude. Oh, my. Ah, oh, okay. Hold up, B. Oh, wait, he's all. Select unit? What? Oh, this. I remember. No. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Oh. Haven't known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. We can overload the. Um. And you. To clear a path to the shuttles. Right in front of you. Yep, you're right. Overload that place. <laughs> so, uh, no, I believe there's still Get someone alive down there. No, Wilson, my favorite side character. Can okay, I give we him? took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. 
We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. I'll see the logo, you idiot. Oh, Wilson. I've got some nice armors for his loyalty mission. When we complete that, he's gonna have some real badass armors. I love Wilson's lo loyalty mission. Never heard of them. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, you lied to me. I guess I'm already leaning towards Renegade. Ah, I have the scars and I want more of them. You told me you were with the Alliance. I don't like being played for a sucker. I didn't lie to you, Commander. I was with the Alliance before I joined Cerberus. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too, but right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. You must have some reason for bringing me back. Tell me what's going on. All gotta come from the boss, Shepard. As soon as we're safe. We're almost at the shuttle. Is that something where I can die? Can I jump off in this game? I need to test that. Oh, I wanna see how far I'm into it. Mm. I don't know if I wanna get to the next cutscenes. Um. Ah, okay, invisible walls. I can't fall through full damage. I can't fall through full damage. I can't die through full damage. I will be safe. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, this blue metal. Blue metal. Blue metal. Is it this? Nope. No, oh, I can't move over those parts. Well done. Can I try again? Returns. Oh, god damn it. I should have downloaded them. Oh, I just saw it fly by. Blue down. No, that wasn't it. Blue up top. Blue up top. Blue up top. It's this. Yep. And blue in the middle here. Can't go with the red spots. Got it. I remember now. Credits. Good. We need cash and money for cool armors and weapons. I can't split on that button. Ah! Threat oh. detected. No. No, wrong button. On target. Get over here. Proximity warning. This full lever. Careful. Critical system damage. Excuse me. Left, it's just floating there. Um, <coughs> yeah, what you gonna do about it? I could just throw a good one in here. <laughs> oh, oh, that's actually kind of funny. Ah. Come on, dude. Just. Ah, oh, no. It doesn't work like I want to. That's probably not the way to go then. I didn't work how I wanted it to work. Oh, more cash money. Hacking. Ah, okay, I'm I'm ready. This one. This one, blue here, no, not you, not you, blue down, not you, you, jeez, that's not the worst taking game, that's just what to look for. The has been recovered, but the damage is far worse than we initially feared. In addition to the expected burns and internal injuries from the explosion, Subject has suffered significant cellular breakdown due to long-term exposure to vacuum and sub-zero temperatures. Despite the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me Subject is salvageable. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. More money, please. Oh, no. Oh, I don't remember how to do you. 
I don't remember how to do you. See, see, see here. See here, I don't... Fuck, I just follow everything. Stop. Up, 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 up. Console, console, console. And this. So, oh, fail them in the future. Hack games. And sprint there. Sadly, so can't barrel roll. I miss barrel rolling. Next game, Patrick. That already the Come on, scene? through here. We're almost oh, yeah. at the. It is. Miranda, but you were. Right in the throat. Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. Oh, you smug. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. Oh, full of yourself too. At least you saw something nice before he died. Uh, it was pretty obvious that he was lying. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Why does your hair mod not work? Oh, no, no, the survivors, I won't ask you a lot, a lot. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. Phew. We could look for them. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Now nah, we're going back in and killing all the mechs. Uh, I actually don't have any questions. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. I want the haircut fixed. Damn it. And I won't even get to the Normandy to see it, and now we have an endless cutscene. Endless, I tell ya. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Two years, we already heard that. This is a waste of time. I feel as good as ever. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember it. Everyone screaming, gunfire, blood everywhere. I was the only one who stayed focused on survival. I read the report. Fifty Marines died on a coups. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? Because Ashley is at least a girl. Being in command means that sometimes you give orders knowing that your people are going to die. That can't affect your decisions. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. 
The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. That's the silver space down. Oh, that's cool looking. I didn't even remember that look. Oh, nope. We got time to save. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. But who that? They look basic. I don't look basic. And you go. Why are your hair like that? Ah, damn it. I might have to reload something and check I wouldn't keep the elusive out. man waiting. I will keep him waiting because I need to mod Jack. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Ah, damn it. Now I'm gonna save here. Great new save. And then I'm gonna check my modes. Exit game. And then I will see if I need to reinstall that hair mod so I can get that hair modded. We are here screen recording. Good. Ah, can I get exit out of here? I'm in the hub. In the PlayStation or oh, thing Steam Hub. So exit out of here too and that's loud as hell that thing i don't know why it's so loud i probably could turn you laser more silent exit big picture mode good let's see where are my mods data autumn sale now on thanks steam thanks steam library nope reshaders mass effect mods let's just also turn on music otherwise it's gonna be no that's pleasant. That was a nasty audio click. Oh, okay. Here we have my mods. The mods for Goddamn Mass Effect 2. A lot of videos are textures for the cutscenes. Anderson Hackett. Aria consistency. Liara consistency. Somewhere casual hops is normal wear. Coats and jackets for Mayor Shepard. Early recruitment to get Legion Samara. And so early on. EGM armor, some more armors, I believe. Expanded Shepard armor, more armors. Full armor for Jack, you saw that in the intro. Hooded casuals. Oh, that's for Katsumi. Night Air and Samara armor. Jack's hero, Liara squad mode, Liara consistency. Army free tweak mods, manager auto channel merge. Something Miranda hair replace up, that should work. Miranda Lawson's armory, that should give her additional armors to choose from. As soon as I can choose that, now this is Garrus, this Jacob, I believe. <laughs> I don't have that or the basic armor, which would have been actually fun, sadly. Sadly, I didn't do that. An official patch. And say Masani Amori, who also got one more additional armor. Yeah. Yeah, those are the mods pretty much. I'm gonna go in and check now if I can get the Aras, I mean Miranda's here to work. Yeah. 